Right, so now we're ready to download and install Xcode 8. Now this is the piece of software that we'll be using to write our code for our iOS apps. This is an application that's been developed by Apple exactly for this purpose. And it's free to download, so there's no need to worry about paying for it or paying for upgrades. So before we start, there's just three things that we need to check in order to make sure that the process goes smoothly. First of which is to make sure that we have enough space on our hard drive. So Xcode is a rather large piece of software and you should check to make sure that you've got at least 10 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive before you start installing Xcode. This might be the time for you to start backing up some of your photos or videos to an external hard drive and freeing up that space. So Xcode itself is actually only about 4.5 gigabytes, but in order to install it, you need about 10 gigabytes of free space. So in order to check how much space you've got, just go to the Apple icon in the top left corner about this Mac, and then we can take a look in the storage tab and you can check to see how much free space you've got on your hard drive. The next thing is to check that you've got the right operating system version. Now we mentioned this in the last video, but it's so important that I'm just gonna talk about it quickly again. In order to install Xcode 8, which is the version that we'll be using for the entirety of the tutorial, you'll need to check to make sure that you've got the minimum system requirements. OS 10 El Capitan 10.11.5 or above or ideally you should really be upgrading to Mac OS Sierra, which is 10.12. So that's the latest version that's been released this September. And as I mentioned before, Xcode 8 will eventually stop supporting El Capitan. Maybe it's in the next month, maybe it's in a few months, but it's worthwhile to upgrade to Mac Sierra now. So that's again, a free upgrade and you can go onto the app store and download it. Again, some of our students have had problems with upgrading their operating systems because they don't have enough space on their hard drive. So this comes back to checking how much storage you've got, making sure you've got at least 10 gigabytes before you start upgrading your operating system as well. So to check what operating system you're running, again, going to the Apple icon about this Mac and it's under overview. So you can see that I'm running Mac OS Sierra 10.12 and you should be and you should be running either 10.12 or 10.11.5 and above and finally just a word of warning because we've had some students trip up over this is don't install a beta version of xcode so apple releases beta versions of their applications for developers and for the general public to test now these tend to be very buggy and also the problem with learning to develop iOS apps on a beta version of Xcode is that you won't be able to run it on your iPhone or your physical device. So it tends to create a lot of headaches and it tends to be quite buggy. So don't install a beta version, just stick with Xcode 8 you can get off the App Store. Now, speaking of which, we're going to head over to the App Store and start downloading our Xcode. So if you have a look in the top right corner and you can see the search button, click on it and you'll find Spotlight opening. And we're just going to search for App Store. And there it is. And click Enter to open it. Or if you want to be really fancy and you're running Mac OS Sierra, then you can ask Siri to do this for you. So click on the Siri button. Launch Mac App Store. There we go. So when you're here, we're going to go to the search bar and we're just going to type in Xcode and press enter. Now it's going to find all the relevant apps, but this is the one that we want. So I'm just going to click on the icon to find out a bit more about it. And it says version 8.0 and you can see in the sidebar version 8.0 price free size 4.43 gigabytes now because i've already got it installed it says open here but on yours it should say get so just click on that button and start initiating the download and installation process of xcode and once that's completed you will be able to launch xcode so let's go ahead and do that now launch xcode 
There we go. So you can either go the fancy way. I don't know how long I'm actually going to keep using this Siri feature because to be honest, I quite like my keyboard shortcuts. Some people think it's a bit gimmicky, but only time will tell. So alternatively, you can also go into your applications folder or go into Spotlight. Once you've launched Xcode, you should see this welcome screen. And the most important thing is to check over here that you've got version 8.0 or above. So 8.1, 8.2, it doesn't matter. As long as the first number is eight, you're good to go. And we're all set up and ready. So in the next lesson, we're gonna be diving deep into Xcode. We're gonna be giving you a walkthrough of the Xcode application, showing you the different panes, different buttons that we'll be using, and generally just a grand tour of Xcode. And we'll talk a bit more about it. But in this lesson, we just wanted to make sure that you've got the right operating system for your Mac you've got enough storage space and you install the proper version of Xcode rather than a beta version and by the end of this you should have version 8 up and running. So if I'm talking a bit too quickly or you want to see a written version of all those steps then I've got the link for the step-by-step -step setup instructions um, from our website in the text box below so you can check that out as well. All right so I'll see you on the next lesson.